Hey guys, hopefully you've already watched my tutorial on installing Haskell in VS Code. If not, please go back to that first before this one. In this tutorial, now that you've got all that set up and you want to do some real Haskell programming, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to run the exercised um, project, template projects that I've built for you to do as you work through these videos. So I've posted the exercise templates on a GitHub. So if you go to this URL that I posted inside the uh, video description below, you can download this code onto your computer and start working through each of these individual um, project folders. So after you've downloaded that, why don't you go ahead and open up Haskell Exercises 01 in VS Code here. And just like I mentioned in the last video, the main um, file we're going to be concerned with, because there are a lot of files inside here that you can basically just ignore. And the main file that you really want to be concerned with is source exercises 01.hs. Okay. And each exercise video is going to be like that. It's going to have source and the different exercises 01, 02, 03, and so on and so on. And if you look inside this file, first right away, notice there are some instructions okay, that you need to follow. So um, do not delete any code above these instructions that includes do not add any new imports or anything if you do that you're cheating okay and um, do not alter any type declaration so that means do not take any see these lines here that um, have the colon colon after them the type declarations do not delete any of them or change them once again if you do that you'll be cheating so we have a bunch of um, exercises inside here that basically have these functions that all have error to do, implement, blah, 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 blah. And your goal is going to be to work through and read the comments above the exercises and delete this error and replace it with an actual implementation of one of these functions. So I'll give you a little freebie here. First exercise, exercise A, asks you to implement the prelude function last okay which returns the last element of a list using a combination of other available prelude functions so these are functions that i talk about in the later video that are come built into haskell and are just free to use okay but you have to use functions that i did not hide from the module these functions so if i delete this Last x's equals the head of reverse x's. And I save that. And to run this code, we can do two things, if you remember. We can open it up in GHCI and try it out. So that would be one of the first things we want to do. So we can open up a terminal. Okay. And Notice, yep, we're in the right project directory. So making note that we're in the right project directory. So we want to learn the file, load the file source, exercise 01.hs. So we want to um, load back GI source, exercise 01.hs. Okay, and this will give us the prelude. Oh, and actually it had um, some problem loading stuff. Oh, I spelled it wrong. It wasn't exercise 01, it was exercises. Source. Exercises 01.hs. Okay, and you see that we're in exercises 01.hs here. And let's try out our last. So, what should last be? Last. Let's try last list of one. Oh, that's one. What about the last list of one, two? Aha, that's two. So that seems to be working correctly. Now, the other way I could check that um, last work is I actually built in a testing script that you can run, and it'll tell you if you did things correctly or not, if your functional implementation is right. So if we exit out of GHCI, do a colon quit and try stack test. Okay, making sure we're in the root folder. 
take a little while. And it runs some tests. So if we take a good look here, we have to let's scroll all the way up to where we ran it. Okay, so after it does all of the compile information, this is where it actually starts to run the test. So it runs the last test and we'll and we see that last should correspond to prelude.last. So it tells us in what way it should work. Okay, in case you want to test it out yourself. And it says, okay, it passed 100 tests. But on the other hand, it has a knit and um, the index function and first and second half and all of these other exercises. And these all fail. Okay, and if I scroll down, I can read what happened with each failure. So it says a knit to correspond to prelude a knit. However, when a knit got, got called, it, this is what happened. An error got thrown. It said to implement, to do implement a knit. Okay, so that's to be expected given that all a knit does is throw an error. So now you know how to test if a function is correct or incorrect, but you don't quite know how to actually debug a function, which is debugging uh, code is the most important skill you'll learn as a software developer. So let's go back to our correct implementation of last and let's change it up a little bit. Change it to, let's say, okay, so let's, let's change it up just a little bit, make sure it's saved, and then let's call a uh, stack test on it again. And here, here's an actually a nice little shortcut you can do. If you press Control Shift E, this will give you the run bar, and you can do stuff like run stack test, and that'll quickly run stack test without you having to open the terminal and then manually type in stack test. So if we do that, and let's scroll up. Okay, so now last fails. Okay, and says should correspond to prelude dot last. So if we Go down to failures and we look up the first one. Last should correspond to prelude dot last. And it says, um, and got it. Exception, empty list on, and it gives you the input it called it on. Okay, the list of zero. So, how can we debug this? So, let's try loading this into GHCI. And what we're going to do is we're going to try this input that it tried out and it failed for of list of zero and see if last list of zero corresponds to the prelude dot last list of zero. Okay, so if I run stack GI yes. Okay, so let's try first our last last Zero. And it gives an exception. It says prelude head empty list. Okay. And we can actually go through this step by step and be like, well, okay, the exception happened at head and the exception was empty list. So head, this function throws an error when there's an empty list. So now I could try this out. So x is here. I'll sub in zero for x is here. Okay. Length of a list of zero minus one, list of zero. Aha, and that's the empty list. So right away, now I know why it went wrong. And we just to finish off, um, we can also compare what was the prelude dot last. Empty. Okay, you notice when I call prelude dot last empty list. Um, no, sorry, not empty list, but list of zero. It gives back zero. So it shouldn't throw an error on the empty list. And it shouldn't work this way where it takes the head of something that returns the empty list. So now I know why my function is wrong and how it compares to the function it should be. So now you should be ready to continue watching the videos and doing the corresponding exercises. Remember, some of the exercises do get quite tricky, so if you do uh, get very stuck, remember to try and take a break and come back to it later, and reach out for help um, if you really, really need it. Okay, best of luck, everybody.